you look at a bunch of grapes that have a dull fuzz on the surface, chances are it's yeast mold trying to get up in there and feed on the sugars within. The chemical action of yeast on grape juice produce the alcohol and chemical flavours of the wines. Now all you need is a nice grilled steak. In fact, sugars would normally convert into ethanol and carbon dioxide, but this process was super slow. For years though, it has been known that the enzymes produced by microbes such as yeast or bacteria were able to convert sugars into ethanol and carbon dioxide. These enzymes such as zymase, maltase and invitase catalyzed a complex series of biochemical reactions, which you don't really need to know, in which the sugars were ultimately converted to glucose and then to ethanol and carbon dioxide. Focusing on yeast which provides the enzyme, these bad boys are an aerobic organism in which they naturally respire to produce CO2 and water for energy. However, if you take away the air and provide anaerobic conditions, ethanol is produced instead of water. Now how's that steak coming along? Or how about a salty pretzel? If you think about the reaction vessel where all of this occurs, naturally the CO2 produced will bubble out. No problem there. The fermentation process will also stop once all the available sugars are metabolized, okay? What about the poor yeast swimming in the alcohol solution? In fact, once ethanol concentration reaches 15% by volume, the yeast no longer survives, so fermentation ceases. So weak. Anyways, wine and beers usually have an ethanol concentration of less than 15% because of this. So what are the conditions for industrial fermentation? You need alcohol tolerant yeast, Saccharomyces ellipsoides, sulfite solution as a source of sulfur dioxide, particularly for wine because bacteria is everywhere and they will turn the wine into vinegar overnight. They have to be killed. A pH of 3.7 to 4.4 to prevent pathogen growth, but not too low that it denatures your enzymes. Temperature of 37 degrees, optimal for particular enzyme activity. Time, because nothing's instant. Anaerobic conditions to ensure only ethanol and CO2 are produced. And lastly, enthusiasm.